we didn't have all the answers. We had a vision. And the vision really was is to hopefully have tablets, you know, iPads or tablets for our electricians, for our mechanics, for our HVAC technicians walking through the building, troubleshooting the building, maintaining the building with all the information available. It's really getting the right information to the right people at the right time. You can build a building, but you have to be able to maintain it and operate it properly. And our group is the one who does have to operate them properly from here till the day the building ceases to exist. It's by far the most sophisticated and complicated building we've ever built. This particular building has layer upon layer upon layer of control systems, one interacting with the other, interacting with the other, and then back up again. So it, it's, it's a very complicated building to maintain, but it is running very well, so I'm grateful for that. So our role was to really aggregate data from the subcontractors and build it into a consolidated model, which would be then used for operation and maintenance through the life cycle of the, of the building. Getting the facilities team here at UMass to adopt a model-based facility management program was new. So we needed to involve the facilities groups before the final deliverable was handed over so they could provide input into how the models were constructed, how their day-to-day -day workflow um, sort of exists today, and then how would that change with a new model. It was really fun to see the BIM 3D before construction and walk around this building after construction and see the BIM was exactly what was constructed here, except in very few cases. Our vision is to provide a model that is the source model, single source of the truth, and from there we can go anywhere. So if we need to get to a building management system, or if we need to see a maintenance record, or we need to look up an operation and maintenance manual, we need to be able to get to that information very quickly and not go through multiple computer systems to do that. I'm quite certain that any building of any complexity will have to go in this direction. If you're building a Walmart, perhaps not, but a scientific building like this designed for research or a hospital, I don't see any alternative than, than to go the BIM route and, and, and really design it so that you can sit down at a computer and, and see what's happening in a building by looking at a BIM model. The future really is, is the integration of these systems, trying to get them into single platforms, trying to get the information to the right guys, train our teams where the information is and how to better uh, and more efficiently provide the maintenance and operations of our systems here. In my business world, this is phenomenal. This makes our maintenance easier, it makes our troubleshooting easier, it makes changing filters so much easier than anything we've ever had. And BIM made it all possible. Couldn't have done this without BIM.